good day with Lords and Ladies and welcome back to Wild of Myth Mickey Cornish Knight as we continue the campaign of well, I think it's stuff like Elysia and, Elysia and the Moth or something like that but um, one of their shorter story campaigns it's quite challenging and yes we've got 41 days into nesting Curzon so we need to clear out this location Nice and quick. Who are they? More fra uh, more fraxel. Okay, yeah, let's assault it. So I've noticed Dane's been gone a while. Any clues why? I bet she's just sitting down somewhere enjoying the quiet. This piddler may know. Ah, we had this encounter before. Um, this is the one where she's basically been taken prisoner. We need to free her. Yes. They basically ask where she is. They point her in the direction of the town. I won't go into it because this actually takes quite a long time to read through. It's one of the, one of the longer um, narrative stories. So let's keep keep going. Right here. So we get to her where she is located. Um, good neighbours, landsfolk, listen, there's no need for blood. Let's try and reason with them. No choice at all, what are you saying? What is this great one? Right, so yep, yeah, so basically we've got to try and negotiate with them. They're going to be hesitant because they're cultists. But still. Right here. I would read this, normally I'd read this out, but this one takes us a long time. It's a bit detrimental to have, um, to do it. So let's just keep going, the creature comes out. Yeah, ton of fracks and the great one. Okay. So they could be over there. We want to basically sort of start smashing up this group as soon as possible. So let's keep shooting it. Um, what's that going to do? That's going to do spear axe. That might be a really nice thing to have. You can go bone lance. Yeah, we killed off that one. Get Guardian up. Ah, that's worrisome. Get Guardian up. There's a lot of them. Okay. First things first. Bone Lance can't get any of these guys. Okay. So let's move up here. We'll do an infuse on this. There's the other blighter. We need to kill off these bards. Um, because they are very dangerous. That thing's going to charge us if we're not careful. Um, no, we killed it off. We killed off the, the ancient one, which saved us some issues. 
Okay. The thing is, that's going to charge us. Which is problematic. So let's... Kill this off. Get guard up. Guard up here. Guard up here. Problem is it's going to bury itself. Okay, that's problematic. Okay. They're taking control of various objects. Um, and we don't have a lot of things that we can do against them. Discuss, maybe. Discus worked. We can't kill that one. That one's out of range. They're guarding that, which is problematic. So we do need to attack this piece of scenery. Which breaks their connection. Um, how much health? That's got a lot of health, though. Let's move up here and get her on Guardian. You're going to go here and attack scenery. It blocked it. Yeah, that taking control of the campfire and that damage is really nasty. Okay. Because I can't, I don't have a way of easily recovering health, and we've got incursion coming, which is problematic. So we can kill off that one. Um, you have that one under control, so we can focus purely on the uh, bard. We're just going to shove ourselves in combat with it. We'll infuse this for the discus. Maybe get enough for health up. She leveled up at least, which was good. Stun chance is okay. Not particularly bothered by it, though. I forgot that she had the mace out. I should have changed it for a different weapon. Um, endurance, very good. Battle Dancer, it's very powerful. But I'm going to grab some just flat-up armor. The great one has been extinguished. Your true friend, Bully. I want you to know that. Uh, of course, Dane. We're here for each other. And I will destroy anything that comes for you. Count on it. Dawn clambers onto the distant hills and the old village spokeswoman seems to approach a trailing young man with fiery eyes. Let me first thank you, strangers. My name is Wangle Lark and my parents were among the first sacrificed to think to that thing by this woman and her posse. We all wanted up under their thumb. In any case, we've broken their power and we've wrestled our homes back. You and yours will always be welcome for the rest of, of, the, num of the numbered days. In, your hum in our humble village, your name shall never fade. Once the morning stretches, they and the others head out, refusing the offer to stay in favour of getting on the road. Okay, so they get even more health. My goodness me. Yeah, they've got... 16 days until the incursion starts. Uh, yeah, opportunity. She wants books to read. Unfortunately, she's fallen into a rut of readings. She can't clamber out of more of the same. Well, it's piercing green eyes again. 
and of course a coy smile. Always an amber hair and her piercing green eyes. Hey Baldy, you want to see this? Another grizzled veteran sold up, seriously. Oh, for once we could have a veteran that's not grizzled. Oh Dane, I was reading. I know you were reading, Baldy. I can also identify when someone is bellowing to themselves like a lunatic. It, it was all just sound the same. How can I keep reading the same words over and over again and not going crazy? Baldy res resuffles the offending novel. Maybe stop reading? Well, what do you suggest? I stop reading? Anyway, I've noticed, I have I was nosing around in here the other day and looked what I found. Saving the little book from a damaged fall, she glared at Dane and then it opens the marked page. Hmm, the Library of Light, a map to the... It's a fake, it must be, even I know it's just a story. Think about it, it's been amongst those sealed ourselves who's what... Who walled it, 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 it in here? Where did they, what did they know? Um, well, I guess we should rule it out. We shouldn't rule it out. I'll get my gear. Um, yeah, that's fine. Probably what you want to do is take the, um, the ranger, though. But before we do anything else, there's an incursion about to happen. Which I will use legacy points to get rid of because oh man that's really out of the way yes he's only healing at half speed because he's not as young as he used to be unfortunately okay so they should get here the research is complete spell thread health is very nice so we want to give it to someone who will get another tick in health Uh, it's gonna be her. Yeah. So we got that. They're here. We could get another party member, but I don't want to get another party member and use up legacy points. They're gonna get here. Um, I have a plan. Okay. There's no correct vision of this story, but that's why that's why it's fun. According to most tellers, the Library of Light was built out of peat clay or all dug and wheeled load by load out of the un underworld. Most say that the Morning Star Sorcerer Jendo all over brought the library into being. Some storytellers have it that he enlisted the aid of Dreamweavers and Morphiseers. When it was built, the monsters destroyed each other in their greed as monsters will. One vision has him using his own life to complete the casting. That's that one's gross. She mutters. Um, there's one where he visited the spirit realm. I don't remember why. I don't think anything happened. Maybe he just wanted to visit. Honestly, it was his name that first intrigued me. Gendo over. There's a mystery there, right? Of course, half the history never happened. So his name and deeds that went with it might be one one more easy fixin' if the library is real. Can you imagine it? A limitless and ever-growing trove of books. Every volume has been written, that has ever been written, every scroll, every epic. They arrive the next day. How should they spend the night? Fires and conversation. The fires are high and their friendship has deepened, and the night gives them courage. But next morning they reach their goal and find its guardian. Yeah, we're going to need it. Oh, man. Yeah, these guys are tough. Um, let's infuse that. We'll get a splinter blast out, which hopefully will rip through some of his armor. Yeah, see, it shreds his armor. Ah, fortunate that we got a critical hit off. And we killed it in one. I thought it was going to be much tougher. They are normally quite dangerous, but we got mad. we got lucky with a splinter blast, which took away its armor, and we got some actually nice armor out of it. That's tier two. It drops her speed down a little bit, but two more points of armor, so I'll take it. 
raise your head if you know there was raise your hand if you know there was going to be a fight. Did you say raise your hand? Like raise your head? Raise your hand? Oh, too late. It's not funny anymore. Gender over, gender over. Rather famous recorded that there was two ways a traveler would be able to locate the library. One is if it is it your turn, you turn yourself into a vega beast, the creature was who so loves to devour lies, that may many books would give off a, a great rip aroma, like a ripe aroma, like I don't know, Mount Bacon. Mount a mountain made of bacon good. What's the second way? Just how big it is. The interior of the library is a symphony of sunlight playing from frozen ballets of crammed cells. Careful what you touch, this is all um, precious. Every space is crowded with volumes. Could get lost in here. This is what dreams look like. Could you even dream this? The library was a, was a dream. That's how it began. Why I studied magic all my life. Same as every other magician. I wanted to make my dreams real. I, don't I didn't understand then. When dreams came true, you may find yourself buried in them. More than ever, you begin to long for sleep. The library was a dream, and that's what it must remain. Those who leave it would never find their way back. Many days later, Bolly. We need to leave, Dane. No, we need to leave. Oh. Um... Something I realised, I guess, I'm not sure when. Long time ago, maybe grand times I spent with books, times I also alone with a novel and window and a rainstorm. I am glad I came here, glad we found it, saw it all. I've always been afraid to write my own stories, afraid they'd end up nowhere and matter to no one. But I think we, it could be the next dream for me. Bolly, what if we can't go back? They exchanged looks over the crackling fire. In stories, isn't that the rule that you can only ever visit it once? There's a long silence. You know, I've been reading since I was small, books by heroes and half crazies, fiction of all kinds and quality. What I'm thinking now is, it is time I stop putting life into my own words. Okay, so retirement age has gone up, so it takes Obviously, it'll be another 10 years before she can retire on top of her normal years. Nice boost to all her stats. So we can get aid. Once per combat, heal an adjacent target for 7 and remove negative status effects. Very nice. Ignite. Bolly targets flammable debris, pulling mots of heat out of the air and gathering them into the single point to create an infused blaze. That's quite nice. Indignance. Bolly presence is... Uh, charge against her foes, dealing two damage, true damage, to hostile creatures who enter adjacent with her. I'm going to grab aid. Um, just being able to heal people is really powerful in this game. So we have this location. We could spend legacy points to get that, but I want to spend them on this instead. So let's go here and scout. Yeah. Here we go. So what do we don't want them to have? I don't want them to have that upgrade. These things, not bothered about. Mafagi, annoying, but like I say, I don't tend to worry about the um, bonus factions in a storyline mission. I tend to purely worry about um, the storyline faction. Okay, so we're going to take this location. Which uh, carried, yeah, Dravan, the Dravan control it. Let's go. Okay. One morning, grabbing a few mushrooms. Uh, um, oh no, I was looking at. I was looking for a decent feather. For a passing fancy, it's not important. Important enough to be a mystery, apparently. Uh, Melina falls quiet. We sang, snag what little bits of comfort we can in the world has gone awry. Some people pray to God, some carry totems and talismans. And on the edge of battle, sometimes I like to make my own little appeals to fate. Have you always done this? When, I feel, when it feels like it's the right time. Ah. She looks down at the feather. 
First, I gather the bits, got to have the bits. A feather for speed, a pebble for strength, and a bit of moss for wisdom. What does moss have to do with wisdom? You know of something that would fit better? Fair, she, she mutters in, in agreement. Then I make a sort of appeal to each person. We don't need to hear it themselves. It would only put them on the spot, start, start them overthinking. But I feel better having spoken it to the field. The field may not take suggestions, but you plant the seed just in case anything out there is this in this enlisting mood. Satisfied with the recent pocketed feather, Abelina heads back towards the camp. Hey, let me join you. 65% chance to win. No, I think I'm going to let her, I'm going to let her do it herself, because that's basically a 50-50% chance. I'll leave you to it some moment just for, for ourselves. She shrugs. I think it'd be a nice thing to do, though. Not everybody would put it put in the fort. I'll tell... I'll tell the field as much tonight. Tell it, um, tell it, Amulina, um, it's the real deal, and that she did well to listen to you. Hope I haven't created a ritual obligation for you too now. Nah, she jokes. Only when it feels like the right time. Plus one health and warding. Okay. Ooh, spirit animal. I want that spirit animal. So let's get here. Okay, so we are revealed. Unfortunate. But she is invisible. Okay. Madam Mage. There's a lot of range enemies here. Let's infuse that. I doubt we can... Ah, oh, we can hit that one with a splinter blast. So we'll take that one out. You're going to dive into cover. You're going to dive into cover. As are you. Yeah, these guys are annoying. So where's the little creature going? Okay. So you continue to chase the little one down. We've got this under control for the moment. Um, let's infuse this again. We can get those two, which will kill those two off. That's destroyed their cover, unfortunately. So you're going to go here and cover her. You're going to surge up here. I could kill off that one. It dodged. Yeah, that's bad news. You're going to have to come up here and deal with these. this one here. Okay, I'm on, little fella. Okay. There's the spirit. So we can get a water bow, which I think we've already got. I wish I could check her stats. Character seat, there we go. So what's she currently running with? Uh, Yellow Pride of the Mountain, Tier 2 Water. Yeah, so it's a water bow. Um... We could get her a water dagger, we can just get straight up legacy points. What's a No, I like I don't want the water dagger for her, so we'll get the legacy points. Which is nice. 
They get a bonus to that, which is unfortunate. You kill that one off, please. We're going to infuse this tree. Ripped for its armor. Let me finish it off. That's everything, isn't it? Oh no, something came out of cover. Where did that thing come from? Hmm, interesting. Right. So, let's swap weapons to the sword. Uh, anything we can use to infuse? Discus, perhaps. Just help get her level up. Level 3 on her. Excellent. More armor, more health. Uh, heroism once become a gain a plus one action point and attack action only costs one action per the turn. That's not too bad. Paladin is very powerful. I will grab Paladin. Right, tier one shield. Not, it's not really worth it. So I will uh, take it for the ingot. Dovern are usually good about leaving supplies that are actually useful. Something flies out. Oh no, I guess we missed this one. It was with that toothy fellow back there, wasn't it? That wing doesn't look good. Uh, I'll take care of it myself. I bet the Devon packed plenty of bird feed. I could fix it. It might take a while, but I worked on birds before. You could all go ahead, I'll catch up. You just, you just got done slaughtering its master. And that was necessary, but saving lives, even small ones, is the reason I'm here in the first place. How long do you think it would take? Nothing too bad, maybe two weeks? Two weeks? That's noble and all, but we have acts of enemies to still out there. Can't be losing days to nursing a mean looking bird. Yeah, let's let's try and heal it. I need to find this this part of myself again to know it's still there. Oh, for crying out loud. Don't stay too long, okay? Don't worry, if it starts to look like a lost cause, our cat's back up straight away. Okay, so they get more damage. Yeah, they're becoming nasty. So let's treat the bird. We'll take her that, and the rest of us can secure the location. Okay, the bird is being treated. Alright then, let's go find the others. And we got the bird. Very nice. Okay. Perhaps one day I'll tell the story in this very spot. Right, we gain location, more heartwood. Bonus damage. Excellent. Who do you want to give it to? Probably the range unit. Right, so she's got the bird. What does that give her? Gear. Okay, so it doesn't appear to give anything, from what I can tell. Um, warding. Bloodhorn Horn Hunter, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. There you go. Uh, Devon Bird 
improves melee accuracy by 5 and range accuracy. That's actually really good. She has a uh, range accuracy of 129. That's really nice. Um, but we're going to put a cut in here, folks. So far, it's going well. We're clearing out this pocket. I'm using up a lot of uh, a lot of legacy points to hold off um, incursions, infestations. Um, but once we clear these ones out, we will have to build a bridge to get across, unfortunately, which would take time. So we need to take care of these ones as quickly as possible. Use one more bout of legacy points um, to clear up this incursion and hopefully have enough to deal with, any, with whatever card is spawned here. Build a bridge, get across, take care of the matter. Um, but that's for next time. I've been Cornus Knight. This has been Wilder, Wilder Myth, and I will see you all again next time. Good. Bye, folks.